food, something that we all love and we all can't live without. Today, we can go to the grocery store and purchase food from all over the country and the world. But have you ever wondered where many of the foods that we eat today originated from? To answer this question, we need to go back in time and look at the five main agricultural hearts. To start, let's go to the Fertile Crescent, where the first agricultural revolution occurred. The Fertile Crescent is located between the Euphrates River and the Tigris River. This area saw the start of sedentary agriculture, which became known as the Neolithic Revolution, also known as the first agricultural cultural revolution. This is where we saw humans move from hunters and gatherers to sedentary farmers. This shift from a nomadic lifestyle to a sedentary lifestyle allowed for a stable population to form, a new food surplus to be created, and allowed for society to become more advanced. Now the Fertile Crescent is also one of our five agricultural hearts. Some crops that originated here are wheat, oats, and barley, which over time diffused through the Middle East, Europe, and parts of Africa. If we move west from this region and over to Sub-Saharan Africa, Africa, we will see yams, coffee, and sorghum cultivated, which first started to diffuse down through southern Africa. Continuing our move west, we have our next hearth, which is located in Central America. Here we have maize, potatoes, squash, and peppers, which first diffused through North and South America. Moving over to Asia, we have our next hearth, which is located in East Asia. Here we have crops such as rice and soybeans, which diffused through Japan and Korea. Then lastly, we have Southeast Asia, which had crops such as mangoes and coconut nuts, diffusing through the East Indies and into India. Over time, we saw these crops diffuse throughout the world thanks to events such as the Columbian Exchange, which saw the diffusion of different animals, goods, products, and diseases between the Old World and the New World. Crops like the potato, which came from Central America, reshaped life in the Old World. The potato helped Europe experience a population boom due to how easy it was to grow and how many calories it offered. Crops from the New World allowed for Europeans to develop a stronger food surplus, which reduced the amount of famine, which ultimately led to a population boom. Unfortunately, though, the Colombian exchange was not all positive, as it also led to the spread of different diseases as well, which resulted in the deaths of millions of indigenous people. We could also look at other trade routes, such as the Silk Road, which allowed for diffusion to occur throughout Asia, the Middle East, and into Eastern Europe and Africa. This trade route not only spread different crops, but new inventions and agricultural practices which ended up reshaping the cultural landscapes of societies throughout the world. Or we could look at the impact of companies such as the British East India Company, which traded throughout the world, spreading crops, animals, technology, and plants. And it isn't just trade or business that diffuse agricultural crops and practices. The migration of people did as well. Both forced and voluntary migration leads to new goods, services, plants, animals, and ideas to be introduced to different geographic regions around the world. Today, thanks to globalization, we can see that agricultural practices and products diffuse around the world faster than ever before, all of which reshapes our farms, diets, and our grocery stores. Now comes the time to practice what we've learned. Answer the questions on the screen, and when you're done, check your answers in the comment section down below. And if you found value in this video, don't forget to subscribe and check out my ultimate review packet for more help with your AP Human Geography studies. As always, I'm Mr. Sin, and I'll see you next time online.